I uh, got some posts from Amazon. I've been waiting for this all day and it got here about 5 p.m. I was hoping I'd record this video while there was still some daylight, but it's winter, there's no daylight at this time. It's something for my music collection, something that was released today, so I'm getting it on release day via those good people at Amazon Prime. So without further ado, let's get it open. Ah, lovely. It is the Beatles White Album Remixed Remastered Edition. I do like that sticker on the front. That sticker's on the cellophane. 50th Anniversary Edition of the White Album, aka The Beatles, the self-titled Beatles album from late 1968. The original was a double album. This is a three disc version. Uh, it's been remastered, I believe, by Giles Martin, the late George Martin's son. Of course, George Martin being the legendary producer of the Beatles and pretty much all of their work throughout their lifespan. This is a three disc version as it has the album remastered for 2018 on the first two discs and disc three is the Isha demos. The Isha demos have gone down in Beatles folklore as being uh, quite legendary. A few of them have kind of leaked out and I think probably most if not all of these have been available in sort of a lesser quality in bootlegs but this will be the first time that they've been all released or probably the majority released in a decent and official format so we ought to get it open really this is where I struggle with the cellophane so I'm going to use these tweezers I think to put a little hole in that protruding bit of cellophane there oh there we are Alright, so if I want to save that sticker somewhere, I'll need to take this off. Yeah, see the stickers on there. I'll just put that to one side. I don't, you won't be able to see this really, but the Beatles is embossed slightly on the CD cover, just like it has been on the original LP and numerous other versions. Opens out into a gatefold kind of deal. There we, oh, lovely. Sorry, oops. I'm looking at all this because obviously I've never seen this version before, like having it in my hands. I'm more interested in just exploring it myself than doing a video, but I decided to do a video on it. I've started so I'll finish, as that guy said on that thing. Disc 1 is obviously LP1, Disc 2 is LP2, and Disc 3 is the Isha demos. I like the kind of demo tape style font on it, like it's been done on an old 60s typewriter yeah lovely and there'll be a booklet in here as there often is with these Beatles re-releases I do already have this album I will show my Beatles collection in a few minutes there's the booklet, it's quite a thin one actually I was expecting it to be uh, like it's a fold out thing which is unusual actually I'm not massively impressed with that because with the Beatles reissues that they've done in more recent years. The booklets have been really nice and glossy and this is kind of a little bit cheap really. And But it's, really, it's got some nice images on it, but I don't rate the fold out kind of deal there, but there we are. Oh, hang on, now there's another booklet here. <laughs> that explains, it. is that supposed to be like a poster? I don't know, it's, uh... ah, now that's, that's more like it. There's a proper, oh, and it's a lot of text in, in here. I thought it was weird that there wouldn't be like a booklet with some track notes and essays and stuff. So yeah, that's I do like that ad on the back there. An original ad for the White Album. It's great stuff. I mean, I won't go into you know massive details about what's in it because you might want to buy it for yourself and be surprised. So there we are, the Beatles. 50th anniversary white album it's been re-released on vinyl so there's been the lp that's been remastered and re-released there's been this three disc cd version i think there might be a, just a standard two disc cd of the original album without the isha demos and the super deluxe version which 
uh, that'll have extra discs and outtakes and DVD probably. Uh, they did that with Sgt Pepper when there was the 50th anniversary re-release last year and I really wanted the Super Deluxe version but I couldn't afford it and I couldn't afford the Super Deluxe version of this either so I just stuck with the three disc expanded edition but I was happy with Sgt Pepper and I'll be happy with this. I'm hoping they'll do a similar re-release for Abbey Road next year because in 2019 it'll be the 50th anniversary of the release of Abbey Road which was technically the Beatles final album together although Let It Be was recorded before Abbey Road it was released afterwards I'm hoping for that because Abbey Road is probably my favourite Beatles album I think I do like Rubber Soul as well I like them all, I'm a fan but if I had to pick my favourite I think Abbey Road might just edge out Rubber Soul but I'm really looking forward to giving this as I've not listened to the White Album for quite some time. I'll show you my Beatles collection. There's the box set for all the albums that were remastered back, what was it, about eight, nine years ago. And plus it has the past masters in and some little mini documentaries. That's a great box set. And here we have some other releases all the DVDs and Blu-rays, I've got all the films from A Hard Day's Night up to Yellow Submarine and the anthology albums, the anthology DVD set, One Plus when that was re-released a couple of years back um, which has got the One Greatest Hits album and a brilliant Blu-ray with loads of promo videos, live footage that's a great buy that, and there's Eight Days a Week, the Ron Howard documentary that came out a year or two ago the accompanying album to that live at the Hollywood Bowl uh, Let It Be is on DVD now it's never had an official release this DVD I think it's kind of semi-official it's I got that off someone at Discogs I think somewhere years ago and it's a good quality transfer but it's not official so <laughs> And there's all the Beatles related things. So that is my Beatles collection on CD, DVD and Blu-ray. What else I'll quickly talk about before I end this video is the equipment that I use to listen to my music collection on. I've not got much space in my home so I have to be really limited with what I collect and what I buy, the equipment that I use because I'm just so limited for space here. The Hi-Fi, if you, can, you can't really call it Hi-Fi, it's a micro system, is a Sony PMC-D40L. It was originally released around 99-2000. It's got CD player, cassette with auto-reverse, so it'll be continuous play if you've got cassettes. And the FM medium wave radio, which is rubbish here can't get a decent FM reception with that but it doesn't matter because if you notice on this photo there's an Amazon Echo Spot sat on top which is plugged in to the micro system via the line out and you just pick up any radio station via the internet on that it's a good little micro system it's good quality not got any Dolby noise reduction or any massive bells and whistles but it's a Sony so it's it's a good build it's reliable. I got it second hand, so it wasn't expensive. It replaced something that was more modern, but I wanted that when I was getting into mini disc because I wanted something that I could easily record from either CD or cassette or from the Amazon Echo to mini disc, and I can do that via optical lead. The Amazon Echo, just to touch upon that, that's an Echo spot in the living room. It's plugged into the line out so that um, the audio is superior. I've also got an Echo Dot in the bedroom and what I use that for music wise is for streaming internet radio and Amazon Music and things over Wi-Fi and also it's a very good device for streaming music that I've got on my phone via Bluetooth. And here's the mini display that I've got. I've never really shown this properly on my channel before. It's a Sony MZB10. Uh, it was released around 2003. It takes two AA batteries 
if you want to take it away with you, you know, listen to it on the go. But I did get a separate power supply for it and it's just plugged in nearly all the time. I have taken it on holiday before. I won't go into the whys and wherefores and the technical stuff, but to touch upon briefly, you can do analogue recording via standard 3.5mm cable and also optical slash digital recording via an optical cable. And it's a great mini display. It cost me about $69.99 in nearly new condition and it's worked perfectly since I've had it. So that's my audio setup. Pretty minimal and kind of basic in a way. But it suits me because CDs and mini discs are what I collect. I'm also starting to buy a few cassettes but not too many. And I'll do an unboxing video in the future when I've got something exciting to show you in the cassette line and I've also got another mini disc collection update video coming very soon as well. So it's a decent stereo for what I need. The space issue is why I've not got into vinyl. I'd love to get some records like maybe expand my new order collection by getting a lot of the singles you know this 12 inch extended singles of new order but i've got no room for a record player also it's the expense as well and getting into mini disc has been so expensive i knew it would be but it was something that i wanted to do i couldn't resist i might upgrade the micro system to one i'd like it to be a sony again so i really like their audio equipment especially from around this sort of 1990s time period as well I think where I think their audio equipment was at, at its pinnacle, really. I'd like to get a micro system, a second hand one, obviously, nothing new that comes out because the new stuff is just it's not suitable. A micro system with a built in mini disc player, but I don't really need it because I've got the portable, the mini disc recorder, and when I want to listen to that, I unplug the Amazon Echo and just use the same lead and plug that into the mini disc, and then I can listen to that through the micro system speakers it's all good and that's it really so yeah there we are Beatles album and a quick look at my Beatles collection one of my favorite bands really happy to have this I'm gonna enjoy listening to this later on and we had a quick look at my audio setup as well so thank you very much for watching subscribe to my channel Follow me on the usual social media links, which will be in the description below. There. And look at some more videos relating to my music collecting coming very soon. So, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all again very soon, hopefully. See ya!